Well, hello the new. It's only me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as always from the Giggle Mill here in Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Today I'm in Studio B, which means that my resident engineer is none other than Adolf Apfelstrudel, that very sweet chap from Berchtesgaden in Bavaria in Germany. Technically perfect, he's also a strict disciplinarian uh, because of what happened in the WAR. And he refuses me more than 12 digital mega burgers per broadcast. This means you're denied once more the all-time thrill of my very famous, world-famous, forgettable rendition of Ness and Dorma. The uh, tale I have to tell you today is about boys who will be boys. You know what uh, boys are like. Always up to mischief. Always making fun of girls. Calling them sissies and all kinds of things. Oops. That'll be nine o'clock. Uh, these oats that I eat, they keep you regular as a clock. Thank you. Uh, these two boys in this town were called Mick and Nick. And their mother could do nothing with them. Almost every day they were being brought back to the front door by the police. Having committed some kind of problem, trouble, you name it, they were in it. And the mother, the mother was almost in despair because the father was a, a, a sailor at sea, so there was no discipline in the house, if you know what I mean. So she heard that the vicar down at the parish church, he was a great big fellow, had had a lot of success with, dis, uh, with the unruly boys. Uh, so she set off one afternoon to have a word with him and she explained the predicament and she said the father's away at sea he'll not be back till November and it's only March now uh, he's gone to South Africa uh, on, a, on an oil tanker and is there anything that you can do in the meantime to sort Mick and Nick out one's 10 and one's 14 Nick's the elder and Mick's the younger so he said, all right, then he said, but I want to see them individually, not together. Send me the youngest first. So she sent Nick along first. So Nick arrives at the church and the, the vicar calls him into the vestry. He said, sit down there, lad. He said, I want to have words with you. So the lad sat down and he was a bit nervous because he's not used to church and he didn't like men with collar up here, you see. Uh, and... Um, the vicar said to him, he said, now young man, he said, where is God? So the boy looks at him and he's a bit puzzled, he thinks, what's, what's this guy on about? He said, where is God? Where is God? And the boy scratches his, his head a bit and he looks a bit nervous and twitching. So the vicar gets a bit... Uh, tight about this and he, he, he asked him again only in a louder voice he said young man where is God still no reply but this time the boy's getting a bit worried so eventually being a huge man the vicar gets hold of Nick by the shoulders and starts to shake him he said where is God where is God so instead of sitting down Nick runs like blazes out of the vestry straight home into the closet under the stairs and he's shaking eventually his brother Mick comes and uh, Cap finds him in there and says what's the problem what's the matter bruv he said oh god he said we're in trouble now he said Vicar thinks it tells me God's missing he says and they think we've done it thank you and good night folks